have a Facebook? How many of you use it each day? The social networking site has quickly become a worldwide phenomenon. According to its site, it has about 400 million users, and almost half of them use it each day. It's become a main activity for today's youth, and a big, a big hobby for an older generation. Today, I'll discuss with you the impact Facebook has on business, academics, and communication. Although most of you use Facebook, I'll quickly discuss what it is and why it was created. In 2004, as a Harvard sophomore, Mark Zuckerberg decided to create a social networking site for only Harvard students so they could talk with each other. It became really popular, so he decided to open it up to the general public. Since then, it has become the most popular form of social networking. Users create a profile where they upload pictures, video, and participate in other forms of online communication. Now I'll discuss Facebook's impact on society. Many people in the world of business decide to use Facebook. Um, advertisers are one of these groups. When you type in what your favorite music is, or what your college major is, what your favorite movies are, advertisers use this information, and they then send you a targeted advertisement. Because they know that you have this pre-established interest, it's much more cost-effective. Other companies use fan pages, which is another form of free advertising, costs them absolutely nothing, just an application on Facebook, where they can publish info about their company. Employers also use Facebook. And they use it because they want to screen applicants to see uh, what kind of moral character they have. Facebook's influence on business will have a bigger impact on us in the future, but currently, Facebook's effect on our academic life is more relevant. It has changed the atmosphere of the classroom. Before, students would um, take their computer class and take notes, but now they're just getting on Facebook and not paying attention. So as a result, class participation has decreased and the overall effectiveness of lecture has been decreased. Other students use Facebook as a major source of procrastination. I know I do. I'll say I'll take a 10 minute study break and then I'll end up spending 30 minutes on Facebook. Facebook has a large impact on academics, but it also affects other aspects of our lives. And one of those areas is communication. Facebook's main purpose is communication. But it decreases the amount of face-to-face -face contact we have with others. Now, before you would call up your friend and decide to meet up for lunch where you could talk about what's going on in your life. Now you just send them a quick wall post. Walvin talks about Facebook addiction, which is where people's lives literally revolve around Facebook. People's grammar is also negatively affected. When they're on the internet, they use shorthand. <coughs> Then they go to write an academic paper and they use these same abbreviations and their grades are negatively affected. In addition, their ability to correctly spell words is decreased because they're used to using these abbreviations so they forget the actual spelling. There is also major privacy issues associated with Facebook. Because your information is so easily accessible to so many people, there can be many negative effects. There are privacy settings, but most people either are too lazy to use them or they don't know how to. Cyberbullying has resulted from this. And cyberbullying is when uh, any form of bullying that occurs over the internet. It requires little effort on the part of the bullier. They just type in a quick hateful message and press the enter button. Because it's not face to face, they feel a little remorse for their actions. It's led to at least four suicides in the United States alone. Students or children who use uh, social networking sites are more likely to be bullied. And high schools are finding this. Uh, difficult to punish. Before, bullying mostly occurred on school grounds, and they had jurisdiction to, uh, to punish the students through suspension or expulsion. Now, because it's done largely at home, no one can punish it. There are some positive aspects associated with Facebook. Um, I know for me, it's helped me keep in touch with many of my friends while we've been at college and like 3,000 miles apart. For other people in, in an older generation, they use it to talk to people they haven't spoken with in high school, like over 30 years ago. As you can see, Facebook affects all of society, specifically business, academics, and interpersonal communication. This is an ever-growing trend that will continue to affect our future pop culture. So, the next time you're on Facebook, remember the impact it's having on your life.